Michael B. Jordan spoke out on Steve Harvey being cheated on. I mean, that's tough. These two used to be really close. Michael was dating Steve's daughter, Lori, for years. But now that they're broken up, Michael's true feelings about Steve and his wife, Marjorie, are coming out. Being able to read people. And now that the rumors about Steve's wife cheating on him are going around, you might not be as shocked to hear that Marjorie had a thing for her daughter's boyfriend as well. It was Steve who told him. Yeah, my wife loves you. You can't help but wonder just how much Michael knew about these two. Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan were once the Hollywood A-list couple. They seemed to be doing great together before everything came crashing down for them out of nowhere. Their breakup shocked everyone because we all saw how compatible they were and just how good they looked together. But looking at the astrology other connection, it wasn't so simple after all. When Lori and Michael first started dating, they immediately became everyone's favorite celebrity couple. The two of them seemed to be a perfect match, so nobody was expecting the end for them to come when it did, especially since they'd only been together for about a year and a half at that point. But astrology shows that the two of them weren't actually as good of a match as everyone thought. First of all, their sun signs aren't exactly the most compatible signs ever. Lori is a Capricorn, and as an earth sign, Capricorns tend to be very grounded and want a lot of stability and routine in their lives. This doesn't usually mesh well with air signs like Aquarius, which, you guessed it, is Michael's sign. Aquarians especially tend to be very fluid and rebellious in their lives, pretty much the exact opposite of the more grounded and stable Capricorn. And in Capricorn-Aquarius relationships, this can actually become a problem pretty quickly. The level of stability and routine a Capricorn will want can feel really stifling and uncomfortable for the Aquarius, and the Capricorn will not be happy either. They'll notice that they are holding their Aquarian's partner back and weighing them down. But if they let go of their desire for stability, suddenly they'll be the one who needs are not being met in the relationship. So even this first quick look at Lori and Michael's astrology shows that they're not exactly perfect for each other. But obviously, it's not all just about the sun sign compatibility. That's really only the surface level of things. To actually get the full picture, we have to compare their whole birth charts. And things actually start looking up for them when you do that. Once you look beyond just the sun signs, there's actually a lot lot of compatibility going on in Lori and Michael's birth chart. The first thing is that while Michael is a son Aquarius, he actually has a ton of earth in his birth chart along with a lot of water. Thanks to that, even though he is an Aquarius, he actually has a very earth-like grounded energy. And his moon is actually in Cancer, which makes him very sensitive and in touch with his emotions. And that's always good news for relationships. And then on Lori's side of things, we already know she's a Capricorn, but her sun sign is not the only Capricorn in her birth chart. She actually she has four other planets in Capricorn as well. It's her Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Neptune, so she really is a Capricorn through and through. And on top of that, with her moon in Pisces, she also has a strong element of water in her chart. So all of this obviously mixes really well with Michael's earth and water energy. This is why their energies mix so well, even though their sun signs aren't that compatible. This mix of energies is what really made them fit so well and look so good together. It explains why it looked like they were just meant to be while they were together. Their relationship was just really harmonious. And even on top of all that, there are some specific planetary combinations between their birth charts that just make sense. First of all, in both of their charts, Venus is pretty much exactly the same place. That's actually amazing news for their relationship compatibility since we all know that Venus is the planet of love. So from an astrology point of view, they should be on the same page when it comes to love and relationships. And Venus isn't even the only planet that shares a sign in Lori and Michael's birth charts. Another one is Neptune, which governs a person's spirituality and psychic connections. And once again, they both have Neptune and Capricorn. So on top of being very connected in all things love because of their shared Venus position, they're also very aligned spiritually. The shared Neptune also means that it's easy for them to trust each other. They're so on the same wave that they would just know if the other person was lying to them. With all of these similarities between their charts, it's really not surprising that they fit together so well. That's why when they first got together, we all thought that they were just meant to be, and it would have felt the same way to the two of them. This connection really was a special one. As soon as you look beyond just their sun signs, their charts really are just extremely compatible. And it's not just that everything is the same in their charts either. Michael's Jupiter is actually in the exact same place in the chart as Lori's moon. This basically means that having Michael in her life brought Lori a lot of happiness, positivity, and good fortune. Jupiter is the planet of all of those things and it affects Lori's moon, which represents her inner self and subconscious mind. This resonance between Michael's Jupiter and Lori's moon is really good for their relationship too. It would 
wouldn't just make Lori feel very satisfied and blessed. Her feeling this way would to some degree reflect back onto Michael and make him happy too. The feelings would get transferred through their connection to some degree. And we've been over just how close their connection was and how much their energy is the same. So the positive feelings Lori would get from this Jupiter Moon conjunction would definitely reflect back and affect Michael too. But despite their compatibility being so good, they still broke up anyway. And sometimes that's just how things go. Even when there's amazing connection and compatibility between two people, things can still just not work out. And that was the case for Lori and Michael. Their sun signs not being compatible might be a part of the reason. They would still have clashed on some things, although maybe less so than an average Aquarius and Capricorn would. The amount of compatibility in their charts would definitely compensate for most of it, but still, they would be at odds to some degree in how they want to live their life. And that's something that could build up over time and grow into a bigger problem between them. And the timing of their breakup actually makes sense astrologically too. They announced their breakup on June 4th, 2022. And the thing is, May 2022 was astrologically a pretty significant month. They were both a solar and a lunar eclipse, bringing fate and change with them. And if that wasn't enough, Mercury was also in retrograde at that time. Mercury is in charge of everyday life and communication, and generally things going smoothly, which they weren't in May 2022 while it was in retrograde. And the thing is, Mercury actually came out of retrograde on June 3rd, the day before Lori and Michael's breakup was announced. It's pretty likely that they broke up sometime before that while Mercury was still in retrograde. And it's coming out of retrograde can actually be connected to the end of a confusion after they finally announced the news. I think it's also likely that May eclipses brought a shift in their relationship. And despite their amazing connection, it just didn't make sense for them to be together anymore. And another thing is that right after the announcement on June 4th, 2022, another planet's retrograde period began. This time it was Saturn and it actually was in Aquarius, Michael's sun sign at the time. Saturn retrograde is always a time of natural resentment of where your life is going. And this time was especially significant for Michael since Saturn went retrograde in his sun sign. And I think that because of that, as well as the eclipses, it's unlikely that they will get back together anytime soon because it's obvious that their breakup wasn't just an on and off thing. They broke up because of a fundamental change in their perspectives and life goals, at least according to the stars. So if they were to get back together, it would have to be a long time from now when a lot of things will have changed again for them. But what do you guys think? Do you think Lori and Michael will ever get back together? Do you like them as a couple? Let me know in the comments below.